Hey guys, welcome, welcome back. So today I'm gonna to be showing you guys how um, to add transparent widgets to your home screen. They really add a lot and I love the look of them. Previously, it was very hard to do with iOS 16's new update. Since adding a transparent widget means you have to upload your wallpaper to the app that makes the widgets. But with iOS 16, we now have the option to have multiple home screens and multiple wallpapers. So it was kind of hard to manage. But now with this new update, they came to an app called Clear Spaces. It is now so easy to go ahead and just change your wallpaper um, and then just change the widget with it. So I'm going to share with you guys how to do that in today's video. So I hope you enjoy it. So here we have my main home screen and as you can see here is an example of the transparent widget. So it does look like there is no widget here, just the time. But if I move it slightly, you will see that it's actually just a widget that looks like the wallpaper we have. I also have it here on this screen so that it looks like the widget is just in the middle of the screen but actually there is a small widget there keeping it like that. So. Yeah, that is basically what the clear widgets look like. So let me go ahead and show you guys how this works. So the app I use that I prefer um, is Clear Spaces. So this is what the app icon looks like. It looks like the app doesn't have a name, but what makes that really cool is the fact that beneath your widget, it doesn't have any text. So as you can see here with color widgets, it shows that um, it has like the name of the app at the bottom. But since this app doesn't have a name, it doesn't look like there is a widget because it doesn't have any text at the bottom. So that really adds a lot to the effect. Um, so let's go ahead and go into clear spaces and I'll show you guys how this works. So here you can see I have multiple wallpapers set up and you can just create a new wallpaper by clicking on create new clear spaces style. So you go in here and then you just upload your wallpapers. To upload an image, all you need to do is you can either go into an app like Canva or Adobe Express and edit it to your liking. So here you can see this is the size that um, the wallpaper should be is 1300 pixels by 2814 pixels. So you can go ahead and set that, make sure your wallpaper is the right size and upload that to clear spaces um, in this section here and then upload that. Or you can just hold down on your phone and swipe all the way to the right and then just take a screenshot and upload that to clear spaces and then it will work the exact same. Now I had this problem and I could not figure out why. It did not want to take me to this blank screen. It just kept taking me to the app center. So the reason for that might be if you hold down on your screen and you go to your app pages um, or your home screen pages, which is when you click on these options down here, if you have any screen after this last page, it will not take you there. So if I drag this screen to my last page, sometimes it won't let me then set this up. Um, if, if it's like set up for a focus or something, I just had that problem for some reason. It doesn't always give that issue. But if I don't have any app after that one, it does not give me that problem. So just make sure if yours is not showing um, a blank page when you swipe all the way to the right, make sure you don't have a page after this page that is hidden. Um, so that might cause that you don't have the option to view that. So yeah, just make sure of that. And then you just go ahead and upload your screenshot to these images like that. So then you are good to go. If you have one of those dynamic wallpapers, you can go ahead and set it to dark mode, your phone to dark mode and take a screenshot and make sure you upload that to the dark mode section. It's really easy to set up. And here you can see all the wallpapers like that I had, like I said. So as you can see, this one is marked green. This one isn't. So this is a different wallpaper that I have. So let's go to that one. It is for this one here. So as you can see now, the widget does not work with the wallpaper, but it's super easy to do now. All I need to do is go into clear spaces and then I just go ahead and set this one as the active widget. And then it just changes with that. So it's super easy to manage. Um, and I just, um, I love it so much. So that is how you now manage um, clear widgets with this app. You just change the active wallpaper in the clear spaces app. So you can have all your lock screens have a set wallpaper in clear spaces and just work around it. With the clear spaces app, you also have this option here, which is your widget center. So here you can go ahead and create different styles of different widgets. So for instance, for my time widget here, I go to gallery here. These are all the different time widgets that I have created. 
And I can just go ahead and choose this one if I want to set that one as the active one. And then you'll see the time changed. So I can just go ahead and go through that gallery of time widgets and cho choose the one that I want and then it will change accordingly. You can make different ones of that or you can go ahead and go to create here and create a new style that just give you different formats of time. You can adjust the size, the font. If you have custom fonts on your phone, you can use that. And then you can go ahead and set that. But obviously you don't just have time widgets, we have image widgets here. So if you want a preview, this is what it will look like. I just uploaded a photo so you can see. It is a bit square, which I wish it wasn't, but yeah, that is what that looks like. We have weather widgets here as well. So if I go to create, these are the different types of weather widgets that they recommend for you. You can pick a, a style and then you can go in and customize that even more, as you can see different styles and whatnot, and you can also change the color of it. One of my favorites is also the battery um, options. So they have different styles. You have the circle one, you have the rectangular one or the square one, and then you have this bar, which looks really cool. And then again, you can go ahead and change the line color. And all of these will have a transparent background. So it just looks like it's on your wallpaper. It doesn't look like it is like a widget itself, a full widget. Um, it just works with your wallpaper as, as the background. We also have text. So if you just want to write something, you can go ahead and do that and customize it with fonts and whatnot. And then we also have settings here where you can go ahead and click on refresh widgets. So if you see something is not working with your widgets, you can go to refresh and see if that will like make it work. So you can go ahead and do that. You can set your temperature and whatnot. So all that is very customizable now within the widget center. Um, and then all you need to do to add your widgets is you just hold down on your screen until it goes into this edit mode, click on this plus button here and go to the clear spaces option, which is this one here. And then you have three sizes. So let's go ahead and add a smaller widget. I'm going to add it. Okay, let's just add that there. Then you'll see this one now does not work because it is set at a different position. All you need to do to make it work now, tap on it and set the positioning. So this one is on the top right now and then it will change it so that it fits. And then I'm going to tap on this one here and change the information to weather and then it will add that option and then we have it added to our home screen. So that is how you set up your clear spaces widgets that it shows information or that it switches to the right um, block of your phone. You need to set the positioning. And then again, let me just show you guys again. Let's switch to my previous wallpaper here. And then you just go into clear spaces and change the active wallpaper to the one that we just changed it to. And then we have it set. You can even like um, I showed you here when you upload, you can choose one for light mode and dark mode. So if you have light mode and dark mode options, it will change to the right one. My, my wallpapers are all just one color whenever it's light or dark mode. But if you have those dynamic ones that Apple give you that changes with dark mode and light mode, you can upload that and make sure that it is the right um, look. So yeah, that is how to add transparent widgets to your iPhone home screen. I hope this helped you guys out. I did a whole video on how I set up my iPhone and transformed it basically to be more aesthetic. So if you want to check that video, I'll, I'll have that linked in the iPad top for you guys. I also did it on iPad. Um, in that video, I also cover the transparent widget. So if you want to check that out, um, definitely go watch that video. But yeah, I hope this video helped you guys out and maybe you got some inspiration on how to decorate your home screen and add some transparent widgets. The app isn't free, by the way. You get free app options, but they just don't work as well with iOS 16 as Clear Spaces does. So I do recommend this one over other apps um, and it is not that expensive. So if you want to splurge the money or not even splurge, just spend it. Um, I really, really recommend this app. It's such a nice app to have. So yeah, that was my video. I hope you guys did enjoy it. If you did, give this video a thumbs up. It really helps me out a lot. Comment down below if you have any questions for me. If anything was unclear, I will definitely reply to you guys in the comments um, and try to explain it better. Um, and then, yeah, also give the comments um, the recommendations for videos that you want to see, um, and I will definitely do those. Thank you guys so much for watching. Be sure to subscribe and clicking on the icon on the screen. Also, you can click on the playlist to see all of my other tech customization videos like this. And you can also click on the video to see one of my previously uploaded videos. I'll see you guys next time. Thanks so much for watching. Bye.